Prince Bishop, Alamano thinks I should be less quick to question the words of priests. He's right, I should calm down and get patient. That's great, I'll take that, thank you. You received news that one of your playmates has been taken by a terrible disease. It was Cooties, wasn't it? No longer will you run and play with them in the fields. I'm sure they're in a better place now. 60% chance of gaining Zealous, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Oh shit. We also got Brawny? Did you just see that? We legitimately just got Brawny. That's so good. Prince Bishop, Alamano took me aside for some sort of weird ritual. He burned some foul smelling incense and chanted strange words that I couldn't recognize. When he was finally done, I felt a strange power flowing through me. Gain Tempero. Gain Erudite. Let's take Erudite. Okay, that didn't work. Instead, we just got Brawny from the start of the event. It might be a little bugged. Fraticelli heretics have risen up in Grabundan, led by a military militant fanatic. If not swiftly crushed, this rock could spread like wildfire. 4,000 men. Oh, God. Uh, well, we've got more men than that, luckily. Because of my tiny child's huge martial score. What is his martial score right now? 11? And he's a child, so he's also got minus two. Holy shit. Considering I'm educating him to be a wizard, that seems pretty good to me. Alright, let's go. First revolt. The first true war against us this entire game. Oh. Oh, okay, that's fine. I didn't want to fight that anyway. Alright, go on then. There you go, good, good, good battle. <sighs> Just when I thought it was getting exciting. I always love playing with others, and I still do. And people seem to like me. Lose the trait Playful, gain the trait Gregarious. This guy's coming out really well, look at this. Gregarious, zealous, patient, brave, kind, brawny, kinslay. <clears throat> Let's not worry about that. The rest is pretty good, though. Okay, now unfortunately, if you haven't worked it out by now, the game's been crashing a lot. So I've had to set it to monthly auto saves, which I'm trying to just blast through his education traits whilst keeping in the uh, keeping in the important highlights of his education. We're just trying to get him to 16, so that I can. I th I think it might be related to the childhood events, but I'm not sure. It was crashing more or less all the time around the age of 14, but we seem to have got through it this time. Maybe an event just didn't fire that was firing and crashing it. I'm not sure, but we're almost through it. I'm confident that this character is going to be the one we actually get with this time. Oh, look at this. Now that you are nearing adulthood, you feel you should start asking for oaths of fealty from your vassals and ru rule your realm in your own right. They look loyal enough. 60% chance of gaining just. Come on. Come on. Cherry on the cake. Humble. Shit. Well, that's fine. You know what? We were pretty good already. That's not, we, can, we can get just. I've said it before. Take the rulership focus for a while. We'll get just from that. Not too difficult. The big thorn on our side right now is Kinslayer. But you know what we could do? We could actually start, uh, we could start grafting for that already. Let's get the Pope on side. Uh, excuse, excuse me? How much gold do you want there, Pope? Give artifact. The Greater Key of Solomon for summoning demons. No. Um, we can get artifacts pretty easily, so I'll wait until we get some artifacts and send them to the Pope. We can always steal them from other people. The Holy Roman Empire took a lot from France. Holy shit. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to be good. So now we can actually focus on what's important, like marrying Odin's granddaughter... Cracker Belder's daughter. Now, hopefully our children come out demigods as well as dragonborn. I'm not sure how the traits are inherited. So I'm not sure whether you inherit dragonborn or whether it's just half human, half dragon that get dragonborn. Oh, the assassins. Shit. Let's not worry about that too much. It doesn't really affect us hugely at this point. I mean, he's a new chancellor, as always. All right, let's take a look. Uh, now we can leave it to any. I'll find someone. Just because we might be missing out on some pretty good ones we can bribe. That guy. 21. Shrewd. Novice fighter. Kind. He's a lapper. But, I mean, he'll last for a while, I guess. How close are we? Surely we're almost 16 by now. Oh, it's done it again. Game. We've done it. We are of age. We can rule. We can do things now. The regency for Duke Rhino of Lombardy has ended. You were trained in the art of magic from an early age and it paid off well. Gain the trait, Magical Heritage. Gain the trait, Veteran Wizard. Oh, well, that's something. Um, so that's actually a pretty good compromise, because we know the trait Arcane Master actually is a health minus 1 and fertility minus 40%, which for us is not ideal, seeing as we are the last of our line now. And also, we've got that fucking god-awful haircut, which is really probably not helping either. Good. The more I think about it, the more I see fairness and justice are things worth striving for. It's what separates us from wild beasts. Gain the trait, just. Nice. And we gained Ambitious. God, character, right. Shame we don't have genius or anything like that, but honestly, look at these traits. Every single one of these is good, besides cooties. 
Let's not worry about cooties. Magic? Do we even need to worry about that, surely? We, can we equip our... Oh my god, we've got our great books equipped. Lesser Key of Solomon, Greater Key of Solomon. Okay, let's do magic, let's learn alchemy then. Seeing as we are a magician, I assume we'll pick it up much, much quicker. Oh shit, look at this. The universe is an expansive place, and what lies beyond is even more so. I need to focus my studies on a specific field. I would call forth beings from other lands and bind them to my will. Get studying conjuration. I will learn to bewitch people's minds, gain studying sorcery. Alchemy or herbalism. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for alchemy. It sounds the most boring out of all of them, but it's going to allow us to build up our kingdom much, much quicker than the other ones. Although, conjuration... No, of course we're going with conjuration. What am I talking about? What do we want? Gold or demons? Uh, you know, when you put it like that, it makes it sound a bit, uh, makes it sound a bit easy, eh? To compose a book... Uh, <laughs> to compose a book of literature, sure, is not an undertaking for everyone. Having spent a lot of time thinking it over, I have some of my closest advisors and fetched the best scribes. Uh, why don't we go for something educational for that l extra learning bonus again. Let's do that. Now let's join, I think, the Hermetic Society. Thank you, Apollo, for allowing us to join. Is that racist? I don't know what he's doing with his face there, especially with the turban as well. Seems a bit weird. That's fine. I'm sure he's allowed to do that. Uh, the beard is actually okay, to be honest with you. Uh, let's go for this one in honor of, I think it was our first character had that beard. There we go. Now that is an attractive man. Never you worry about that minus 30% fertility when we look like this. Ladies. Right, what do we want to do then? We probably want to... What have we got? Become a saint, change the province's culture, reign for 20 years. Well, we're... That seems like the one that would be best taken early, but it only gives you one learning for a whole lifetime of messing around. But friend Kaiser Heinrich, very, very easy to do. Would also let us... Oh, we can already kowtow to China, but... Kaiser Heinrich... Minus 22. What happens if we send him a gift? We actually can't afford it. He wants 1,000 gold. Okay. Sod Kana, Kaiser Heinrich. Not worried about you then. Minor title. Possible. Convert a province we could do because Grabundan, the province above us, uh, oh, well, you can just vaguely sit there. It's actually Fraticelli. So we could potentially convert that one fairly easily. Might not be a bad ambition to pick. Very easy to fulfill. Uh, that gives us one learning permanently. Increases the tradition faction. Gain 50 piety. Yeah, let's do that one. It will also make the Pope like us a lot more, because we converted a province, which is good for us, because it means we will hopefully lose Kinslayer. Speaking of which, let's try and get rid of that as soon as we can. Mr. Pope. 17. What if we send you a gift? How much do you want? 945 gold. God damn it. Well, I mean, we could do that. It's not too far out of the, uh... Out of the realms of possibility. Speaking of out of the realm, can we go to China? It's Great Famine. Send him a gift? What does he want? Oh, God. He likes eunuchs, but we can't send a eunuch for quite some time, can we? We sent one when we were a kid. No, we've got to wait, like, another... What is that, 12 years? Oh, Lord, okay. Let's go to China. Journey to the inner lands of the Song Empire and bow before the Emperor in an act of servitude. Performing a koto will earn you grace with the Song Empire, but it will cost you prestige to do so. Let's get going. Get in straight on koto. Or kowtow, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Bless upon you, I've been appointed your regent. You are my spy master. You actually kind of like me. Here's a gift just to make sure you stay liking me. Uh, he's got an artifact as well. What is that? Oh, he's got a Chinese spear. All right, off to China then. Finally, this is one thing I've been wanting to do for ages. The last thing our character did before he died. Let me go and just... Uh, did it crash again? Game. Game, please. I was going to say, I'm going to change the monthly autosave back to yearly, but in hindsight, seeing as we saved on the first June, it crashed on the second. Maybe I'll leave that monthly autosave turned on, eh? So as I was saying, until the game rudely crashed. Um, are you game? Game. You're not even giving me a chance anymore. Okay, luckily I fixed it. Unfortunately, because of the way I had to do it, we've lost our ambition, which was... What was it? Convert... Con oh, maybe it actually converted? No. Uh, we have lost the ability to convert a county, though. So... Let's put that back. Let's carry on with the conversion. I had two players as a separate character and just let that date it because clearly an event targeting our own character was causing it to crash. However, we're past it. We're past the cursed 2nd of June and run away to China. Now I might fix the autosave, but again, that, that was a lifesaver. So unfortunately, as annoying as it is for me personally, I find the autosave really annoying. I'm going to leave it on because it has saved me there. All right. We're on our way. Kowtow to China. Our caravan has been approached by a smooth-faced hand woman claiming to be a renowned trader. After finally getting my attention, she beckons me over to her own horse, where something is strapped to its saddle. My name's Bing Yi, my good lord. May my latest acquisition interest you. What have you got, Bing Yi? 
A Song Arm Protector. Sex Appeal plus 10. Well, that would be useful considering our wizardry is reducing our fertility. This option is available because you have the kind trait. We can actually get her to join our court. Um, she's not that good. Do I want to spend 150 gold on a Song Arm Protector? I do, but I also want to bribe the Pope. So what we can do is we can bribe the Pope first if we can afford it, which we definitely cannot. Um, we could have bribed the Pope and then bought it and gone into negative money. Obviously, we can't send the Pope a gift if we're in negative money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow 300 gold, bribe the Pope, and then take the Arm Protector. Now, we do have to pay off that debt as soon as possible, and we immediately lose the trait just. Thank you, game. As disease ravages the land, I must turn to a more and more mystical solution. I should call forth the spirits of this plague and try to appease them. Oh, what the hell? Uh, the effective line will sacrifice the crops. 70% chance of the duration of disease being reduced by zero months. Okay, let's not worry about that then. Or I can reduce the duration of the disease by zero months. Or I can trust in God and gain 30 piety. You know what? I think I'll take the piety rather than nothing. Thanks. Uh, what is this? The Holy War for uh, Jordan? Is that not northern? Yeah, that's northern Africa right here. Either way, it's over. Let's carry on to China. So the Song Arm Protector is okay. It, again, I only really bought it to carry out the negative fertility. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Okay. Who died? Gregorio. Died of the Great Pox, Leprosy, and Lacutes. My friend, stop taking infected blankets. Right, we're going to have to dish these out. Or we could destroy them, I suppose. Get rid of them. Get rid of these blankets. God damn it. I need to make... Right, note to self. Let me, let me make a note here. Oh, God. Fix AI taking all the infected blankets. Okay, there we go. That should remind me later to sort that shit out. Why would he take four? What is wrong with you? Do we want to get Temple of Asylum Opinion plus 25 and increase the prosperity? Or do we want Pious Person give his monthly piety? Uh, they both last until, well, for two years' time. Temple Vassal Opinion plus 25 would be ideal, seeing as we have mostly Temple Vassals. So, let's go with that. Let's do that. Yeah, I, th I feel like that's, a, that's a, a sensible suggestion. Now, the piety isn't really going to add up to much. 0 0.1 over the course of two years is not going to be very much at all. And the Pope... Almost likes us. Look at this. 72. I'm actually tempted to move this guy here to increase relations and move our Chancellor to improve Diplo relations as well. Hopefully, while we're in China, we'll be able to remove Kinslayer. Which in turn will give us a plus 5 diplomacy again. The rider approached the caravan and handed me a letter with the seal of High Chief Waimu Kagu of Nan Nanquen. Kaigu has heard of my travels and invites our party to rest a while in the warmth of the town... Nanquen tribe. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. The previous days have certainly been a delight. I never imagined we could have so many things in common. It's with regret I bid farewell to High Chief Waimu Kaigu when we decide it's time to move towards our goal of the Song Empire. Let's keep in touch. We get intrigue plus one and health plus 0 0.5 and we become close friends. That's fine. Good. I'll take that. Thank you. Now we have a... States? When did we get... Oh, right, that's the icon for estates, but it's actually the icon for good night's sleep. Right. Sorry, confused there for a second. It's it's crashed again. <laughs> it's a fucking game. And this is why you don't run 50 mods f that are all unrated from the Steam Workshop, because shit like this happens. I, I bet it's those blankets. I, I bet it's the blankets. Right, so, I've... Made it so that the infected blankets can only be gotten by players and the AI is completely forbidden from taking them now. Turns out the mod did have some checks in there, but the AI weren't as limited as I think the mod maker wanted it to be. So I fixed that so the AI just straight up can't even see the decision. Um, also, I have completely turned the mod off for now, just so that whatever infected blankets are kicking around in the game are going to despawn. So that when we turn it back on, the AI doesn't already have a bunch stocked up being passed around. Because if one AI takes ten blankets, that's all going to be inherited down the... Down, the, down the, the family tree. So hopefully they'll all be gone now. And hopefully we won't crash so much with all these artifacts kicking around. What did we get up to in China anyway? We bought some, some sexy arm protector from a lady. At the festing out in the wild, I found a message left amidst the wildflowers addressed to my courtier. Eolia? The would-be lover may appear as waiting for her by a stream near the camp. I must protect Eolia from such dangerous liaisons. Here's a heat nest. Who is, who is this person that we are friends with, apparently? 
we're not friends with whoever that is. So let's not worry about it. Oh, nice. Okay, my liege, my mission to Rome has been a success. During my visit to the court of the Pope Constantinus II, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you are. Perfect. Now the Pope likes us by 93. It's still, it's still crashing. CK2, a month at a time. As the days drag on, I find myself thinking back to Milano, wondering what happened in the castle. And how is Flathbatak Fairy? <laughs> Who are you again? Your childhood friend, right? Who is a leper. I'm going to assume there was some infected blanket apply there. Halt. I need to pose some thoughts to my friend. Uh, for 28 gold, we can increase the opinion of this leper by 10. Or I will say no. I do not care. Because honestly, I really don't. Sorry to say it. I don't even know who you are, to be honest with you. Now, I've disabled some mods. Because as you, hopefully I've, I've conveyed at this stage, the game's been crashing a hell of a lot. Now, I was originally under the impression it was CK2 Plus and Mythos, because they don't play nice anyway, because they're both total conversions that I've, I've mangled together. But I actually think it was one of the other sub-mods I've installed. Now, I will, in between episodes, go through them one by one and sort of take a look and see if I can track down the crash. Unfortunately, the error log is not helping me at all, seeing as it's just shit. Um, but I will have a look at some stage and see what I can see what I can do to get everything back how it was. More friends with the Pope. That's good. What are we up to now? 100? Right. That means you can get back out there and improve my name elsewhere. And we'll get you to proselytize Grabundan if possible. Good. That went well. Let's send a gift to our Chancellor as well for his kind services. And hopefully when we get back, the Pope is more than likely to, if we can afford it, offer us absolution. And remove Kinslay, which means we can actually do some, some diplomatic things for once. But it's going to be a while before we get back from China, especially at the speed we're going in this game right now. Ooh. You've spent much time honing your magical skills, but you've realized that they could be taken even further. Summoning a familiar could raise your potential to new heights, though in the process could be costly and time-consuming. Summon a dove, a wolf, a raven, or a cat. So imagine doves, diplomacy, wolf, martial, raven, intrigue, cat, maybe intrigue and learning, possibly. What about... I don't know, let's go with the cat. Witches have cats. Witches do magic. There's some logic. I'm hoping that's I'm hoping that's the case and it's not just some uh, prestige plus 0 0.1. Great, that'll be handy. Thanks for that. All right, Hermetic Apprentice. Let's have our good friend Alamano, our educator and overall good guy who's wearing two different hats in two different slots. Clearly, he's got a physician hat and an apprentice hat. Right. Come on, China. Now, one of the reasons I go to China a lot is for the artifacts. Oh, great. Do we want to become rivals with the King of Abyssinia? He's got something. That must be an infected blanket that I've disabled. Um, by all means, I will confront him about his dishonest ways. Let's not forget about our reason for the journey. Awesome. So, one good reason to go to China is to get a lot of artifacts, a lot of trade events where you can increase your stewardship and spend some gold in exchange for rare Chinese artifacts, which you can't normally get. And, obviously, it also gives you that grace boost with China, which in turn can become more artifacts. Province boosts, things like that. Okay, we want to do all the decisions that reflect well on the eyes of an emperor. Now, for this one, we can reflect well on the eyes of the emperor and give us a Chinese artifact of 200 gold. So I'm absolutely going to do that. We've got Shell's Chronicle of Economic Principle, which I assume gives us stewardship. Monthly wealth plus one, stewardship plus one, quality three. Hey, that's pretty good. Glad we got that. Now, there are a limit to the amount of Chinese artifacts you can get. You can only get one of each, and there is there's probably about... Probably about two dozen, like 24 or so. All right, we did get a cat familiar. Okay, that gave intrigue and plot power increase. Not bad by any stretch of the imagination. 10 prestige as well. Awesome. And we have increased our knowledge of the magical arts, giving the learning plus one. What's well, to now? 25. Our magnum opus is going to be really good, assuming we can get to that stage. I wonder if there's a way to become immortal besides the in-game immortality event and becoming, say, a vampire or something like that. Now, our wife should result in a demigod, surely, because she's a god. We're a dragon blood, or dragonborn. So, in theory, we should have a decent sum of that. Again, I'm not sure if dragon blood passes down from us. I'm not sure whether or not our kids will have that, whether they'll just come out regular demigods without the dragon blood trait. Either way. Kowtow to China. Having reached the glorious capital of the Song Empire, it only takes a few days before a group of ministers approach me, offering to read and discuss chapters from the writings of Master Guan. They think I, as a Catholic, will be particularly interested in the selection on... Revolving the vital breath. Sure. Uh, we can say no and try and gain some stewardship, or we'll we'll take it. Sure, yeah. So I reflect well on you in the eyes of the Emperor. So there are three different 
there are three different traits you can get. You can get a very basic kowtow, a good kowtow, or an excellent kowtow. All of which give you different grace, monthly grace, with uh, the Chinese Emperor. So, if we have a look, our current monthly grace is... How do we check it? You know what? I don't think we actually get any until we get kowtow. So, say that the level 1 rank might only give you 2 per month, or the highest rank might give you 6 per month. So I forget what the actual numbers are, but... Ooh. Rulers throughout the Holy Roman Empire have become increasingly angered by Heinrich's slothful nature. He can rarely be found at court, and his counselors are largely left to run the empire on his own. This, they say, does not bode well. Imperial decadence will be increased by one. So CK2 Plus adds this system called Imperial Decadence, which is affected by how bad the ruler is. So because this guy has low stewardship, low diplomacy, he's slothful, he's wrathful, greedy, cooties as well, the worst of all, his Imperial Decadence is going to increase, and as his Imperial Decadence increases, there's not really a trait, but he hasn't got it high enough yet for that trait to have appeared. As his Imperial Decadence increases, so does the chance of his revolts, his rebellions, his vassals hating him, things like that. And eventually the title will be destroyed, the Emperor level title if he becomes way too decadent. And again, you reduce decadence by being crowned, having tournaments, feasts, making your vassals like you, stewardship, things like that. Uh, do I want to go carousing with my good friend, this guy? Sure, why not? We'll go carousing. Sorry, what's that province called? Kapuk? Oh, Kirk. Sure. I thought it was KPK then. Now, I wanted more Chinese artifacts since we didn't get many. We got the Arm Protector and the Crash, which is obviously the best artifact in my opinion. The Emperor has kept his eyes on you, the Chief Minister says. You may enter the throne room to show your subordination, but be quick about it. So, we got the level 2 of the, the Kowtow trait. Not great, but there we go. Monthly Grace plus 2 per month. Alright, we're back. Lombardy. How I've missed you. Are we good now? Maybe go to China was the thing that was cursed. We lost trait patient in celebration. I'm losing the damn trait patient as well. I know how you feel. C position of commander, do I accept? No. We want to be absolved. We want to become a pious man. We want to not be a kinslayer anymore. Can we do it? Ah. Uh, what if we go and... Where is the... B summon ethereal army? Cast aura? Change magical stuff. Sure. This is what I actually wanted to do. Buy indulgence for my sins. Now the Pope should in theory now. Allow us to send him some gold in exchange. For breaking the fucking game. <sighs> so we've been playing as other characters now. I get the same crash. Which means. This is quite a major error. It's not just a character event. It's a world based crash. Which means there's probably a province problem or something. Okay. Let me see what I can do. It's not looking promising, though. I think the issue is the save game itself has been corrupted somewhere along the line. Probably one of the crashes has messed with it. Let me see if I can't get it working one last time. If not, I have an idea. Okay, so the bad news is the crashes completely stop once I've disabled Mythos 2, which means somewhere way worse than I thought there is a conflict between Mythos 2 and CK2+. Plus. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not giving up yet, don't worry about that. What I'm going to do is make a combination mod, or at least a compatibility patch, between CK2 Plus and Mythos 2. I should have that done by tomorrow, because I don't think it's going to be a huge amount of work. There's already a mod up on the workshop, which does that with Mythos 1 and CK2 Plus. So you can take a look at that, see what needs to be changed. There's a great program called WinMerge, which can make it a lot easier as well. So... I'm going to do that. See if I can get a combination mod working. I might even put that up for release if people are interested in these two mods working together. What I'm going to say then. I'm going to start a new game. I want you guys to leave me a comment on where to start. And suggestions for the house name. And maybe even suggestions for some goals as well. Because my goal right now is just to be a god. Um, I'm interested in what you guys think and what you guys want to see. Again, starting province, name of the house, and god I think would be kind of interesting. And I'm... I'm, I'm Looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Because I've got some ideas of my own, but they're not... I'm really... Don't think I'm going to be able to get to that point with this save game anyway. So, I'll see what I can do. I'll read through your comments, take your feedback. And then hopefully, we'll come back bigger and better than this time. Which was a good test. You know, it was, it was a good look at Mythos 2. Now I know what I'm getting into and kind of the scale of it as well. I, I need to sort some things out and fix it first. But we'll be back hopefully tomorrow with a fresh start. A goal in mind. Uh, we can marry another god. It's going to be great. I'll see you then.